My name is Lucy Orta. I'm Professor and Chair of Art and the Environment at the University of the Arts London and a member of the Centre for Sustainable Fashion. I'm a visual artist um, that has a research practice and the kinds of issues that I am dealing with in my practice are social, environmental and political. Giving those forms through drawing, sculpture, um, stitching, uh, film, video, performance. Being based at London College of Fashion, building up to the move of um, the college to the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in the East Bank in Stratford. Part of um, my research focus was oriented towards the East End of London and it became a particularly interesting area to think about in the context of the history of the rag trade, fashion and textiles, and how that has been built up through migration history. The project traces stories of migration stemmed out of the idea that I could embed myself as an artist within a local community um, work together with them and create outcomes collectively based around their stories of migration. But traces in the wider sense is about the marks that we leave as we journey through life. And I was particularly interested in how those marks could become a visual form and how those could be translated into an artistic outcome that would talk about the stories of migration in communities different participants involved in the project would be able to realise their own work, their own artefact, and it would be using textiles as a medium, pieces of fabric that are inscribed with the marks, the memories, the visual motifs of a symbolic or a personal journey. We structured the workshops into seven-week sessions Part of that was assisted by an author that um, was involved in the project, Natalie abbey Ezzi. Natalie was able to help participants draw out their story and in a way they were able to visualize it in a way that they hadn't thought about before. We had a questionnaire with prompts that participants could respond to in order to develop a visual motif at some point. We had over 77 participants working with us and over 40 different countries of origin. And no matter how different the culture of the person involved in the project was, we could find uh, interconnections and connectivity between the stories that were told. We were sort of learning new skills, sharing stories um, and seeing each other's skills so some of it was transferable and it really really felt like we were sort of working in a creative space together. Another aspect of the project was the skills sharing and we devised a number of different um, workshops uh, to enable those participants that didn't have any skills, textile skills, in order to at least master a couple um, block printing, stencil printing, embroidery, applique. With a very few number of skills, it, each person was able then to elaborate their story into a, a visual form. So having this opportunity over this extended period to develop the workshop really allowed for people to, um, to, to form bonds and to uh, collaborate in ways that were unexpected about the project. I loved meeting all the other participants because we were all from so many different backgrounds. There was no story that was the same. And it was really amazing to see how we all approached it in different ways and how diverse all the story cloths are. Well, you get inspiration from other people when they talk about their own projects uh, or their own family. It's very inspirational. We worked uh, in a team, like a team, like a big family, to put these my stories in a cloth and then share it with um, my group. It was lovely and the whole experience was just lovely. I never knew, like, art could do that. Nobody told me that art could do that. Mm -hmm. 
part of the, the, the process of the workshops was to punctuate that with showcases. Having a showcase is an opportunity to complete uh, an artwork and then to present it to a, a public. And these became in, in incredibly important moments to, to bring the group together. There was this amazing opening and my mum came and a few other people came from my family. And Natalie, the storyteller, told the story, which was my mum's story. And it was like really goosebumps. Yeah, it was, a, it was an incredible experience. On the one hand, there is the community outcome. And on the other hand, there uh, was my artistic response uh, as a visual artist. Um, and I was particularly interested in a way of uh, expressing the individuality of each person's story, each person's trace. Portraiture is a way of honouring each person involved in the project, giving that individual a, a voice, a visual, figurative uh, voice. And it's actually the first time that I've um, realised portraits as an artist. The process of um, making the portraits was explored together with the participants. Um, we had a photographer, Laurie DeMarta, and she was involved in the workshops and also uh, telling her own story of migration. And uh, she photographed each participant and we shared images. And then those photographs were translated into drawings and from those drawings created the patterns. The patterns were then cut using different textiles to build up the, the layers, the textures and the characteristics of each person. The final outcome of this body of work will be 50 portraits. Participants have given consent for their image to be represented in this form. Traces Stories of Migration has been a two-year project, broken down into different phases, from the community phase and then to the production phase and the exhibition phases. To have seen the amount of work that we've created and the, the huge diversity of pieces that have been made, artifacts, story cloths, portraits, poetry, photography, created out of this process of sharing the stories and to present um, this diversity of expression, individual expression, that is generated out of this community workshop is, I think, the fa fantastic outcome of the project. <laughs>